Soon our army kills 20 terrorists in an ambush in Damascus countryside. Anyakovich says, I am still the legitimate Ukraine president and the United States and the West are responsible for violence in my country. Pujordi says, Syria has achieved remarkable military victories in confronting Tekfiri terrorism. Good afternoon, this is News in English from the Syrian Arab Television in Damascus. The Syrian Arab Army today continued its national mission in pursuing the armed terrorist groups in different regions of Syria, having successful operations against the terrorist gatherings and hideouts. An army unit eliminated all members of an armed terrorist group, which infiltrated from Ahsal al into Rima Farms in Yabrud in Damascus countryside, terrorist Muhammad. Mahmoud Azuddin al Hulani, Nidal Ali Srur, and Fadl Muhammad Shahrur were identified among the dead. Going to homes where security forces in there settled the legal status of over 60 persons in the towns of Dwer Sharqi and Dwer Gharbi in Jubil Jarrah area east of Homs. All of those have been misled into taking part in the unfolding of events in Syria. The persons pledged not to get involved in any act that might harm the homeland's security. Earlier, the competent authorities settled the legal status of 50 persons who had been evacuated from Homs Old City. Thousands of Syrians flocked to the streets in a daily show of unlimited support to the Syrian Arab army against terrorism that has rocked the country. In Damascus countryside, families of Said Naya took to the streets of the town in support of the Syrian Arab army and in condemnation of the terrorist massacres against the Syrians. In Meza neighborhood in Damascus, thousands took to the streets in support of the Syrian army, which is carrying out the national duty of in eradicating terrorism. Participants waving Syrian flags, stressing their adherence to national unity and support for the Syrian military institution against terrorists and their supporters. They highlighted that Syria will remain firm in combating terrorism, calling upon all Syrians to defend their country at all costs. Syrian students at the Russian universities and institutions reiterated their support to their homeland in confronting terrorism perpetrated by the armed terrorist groups which are directly supported by Saudi, Qatari regimes, Turkey, Washington and some Western countries. Meeting Syria's ambassador to Russia, Riyad Haddad, at the French University in Moscow, the students expressed their pride in the Syrian Arab army, which is defending the country against terrorists who came from around the world to wreak havoc in Syria. The students held the performance of the Syrian official delegation to Geneva II conference to meet the Syrian people's aspirations in finding a solution to the crisis, preserving Syria's territorial integrity and rejecting any foreign intervention in its internal affairs. The students expressed appreciation for the sacrifices of the Syrian army in confronting foreign-backed terrorism. For his part, Ambassador Haddad stressed that Syria's enemies are not interested in finding real solution to the crisis, which is clearly evident in the bad intentions of the coalition delegation to Geneva Conference. Haddad pointed out that the representatives of the so-called opposition rejected discussing and related to terrorism and respecting Syria's unity and sovereignty. Haddad affirmed that Syria is convinced that the comprehensive Syrian dialogue is the only way to come out of the crisis through uprooting violence and the Wahhabi and Takfiri terrorism to which Syria is exposed. The Belgian member of the European Front of Solidarity with Syria, Robert Rosiros, 
stressed that the French support to the Syrians and their, and their defense of their country's territorial integrity, sovereignty, and independence. Rosiros, in a radio speech, also asserted that the French support to Syria in facing the Western-backed terrorism. Describing the European media coverage of events in Syria as catastrophic, according to a Czech website, Rosiros pointed out that he has visited Syria within a European inspection mission to get acquainted with the reality of events in the country, stressing that this front is a voluntary organization that embraces people who believe of what they do. He expressed pleasure that he could deliver his message to the Syrian people through solidarity with them and highlighting the importance of not mixing between the European peoples and governments. Chairman of the Foreign Policy and National Security Committee at the Iranian Shura Council, Ala Uddin Bojordi, reiterated his country's support for Syria's leadership, people, army, and government in facing the terrorist war waged upon them. Bojordi said that his visit to Syria and Lebanon seeks to send a message of accentuating Iran's support for the Syrian people and for Lebanon as well. He said that Iran is confident that Syria will emerge soon from its ordeal after eliminating terrorists, noting that there are mutual interests between the terrorists and the Israeli enemy, which hosted them in its hospitals and supported them. Rajordi also said that Arab and foreign sides are funding the and arming terrorists and pushing them to sneak into Syria to wage terrorist attacks, but all this will be useless as these terrorists and their supporters will be defeated by the Syrian Arab army. Russia's permanent representative at the United Nations, Vitaly Churkin, said that the existence of the Russian troops in Skechevilia came in line of the Russian-Ukrainian agreements. Following the United Nations Security Council session held yesterday to discuss the situation in Ukraine, Churkin stressed that Russia is interested in the security and stability of Ukraine and Crimea. He added that the current Ukrainian government cannot be considered as a government that represents the whole country. With this, we come to the end of our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region, and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, www.syriaonline.sy. Now to the latest in business and market news with Nalima Qassam, but after a short break. <laughs>